full timing uh, mostly this is uh, devoted to I have a series on uh, my 2003 Fleetwood Pace Arrow and all the uh, stuff that uh, you need to do to a motorhome and uh, you get an example here with this series and one of them that's very important for you to, uh, to be able to do is your own uh, basic maintenance that is uh, oil change and uh, lubrication of the chassis and uh, these basic things uh, you can uh, also do the air filter and there is a fuel filter that you can change now if you're going to attempt uh, the maintenance on your motorhome first thing is it'll save you from having to schedule a trip to the to the dealers or um, a uh, uh, RV place and maybe have to uh, schedule it where it'll, it'll be there a couple of days you can do this uh, within an hour or two hours at the most Find your owner's manual for the chassis, not the coach. Uh, there's uh, a, a manual for the coach itself. Mine's a Pace Arrow, and I do have a coach that tells me all about the uh, operating systems and the coat. But we're interested in an oil change and lubrication, and you want the owner's manual for your chassis. And I'm not going to go through all of the things you have to look at, but uh, the manuals a lot of times are written for several uh, models uh, in the line that, uh, like mine is Workhorse. Uh, you have to look for your particular model and follow those recommendations for quantity of oil, type of oil, and all of this. So spend a little time getting familiar with your book. There's an index at the very end uh, and also subject index at the very beginning. And uh, that will help you uh, to uh, get familiar and find things that have, are of interest. Service and maintenance uh, are two areas uh, that uh, will be needed. Okay, I've laid out what you're going to need in order to accomplish the uh, oil change. So you want to make sure you have everything available before you crawl under the vehicle and start work on it. Uh, you need to go to the, well, the manual will tell you what type of oil. Uh, mine is 5W30, the oil filter, and they will help you at the uh, auto parts stores select the proper oil. And uh, once you have that, you need a, uh, a, uh, a bucket or some sort of a place to drain the oil in, and they make special uh, drain uh, catchers and uh, I have one there that will hold about uh, eight or nine gallons ten gallons I think it's eight not eight gallons eight quarts okay so make sure that you select one that will hold the number of quart mine is going to hold seven quarts so that that holds it just fine uh, you want some tools you need a tool for the oil plug, and mine happens to be, uh, well, I've got it on here. It's a um, 15 millimeter. Now, I, uh, I have a smaller uh, quarter inch uh, uh, wrench here, um, or um, ratchet, and uh, I'm going to have to put a lot of pressure on it. Uh, it'd be better if I had a half inch. Uh, actually, this isn't for this 3 8 drive. Um, yeah. So uh, select uh, one a little bit bigger if you can. Uh, you need some leverage to loosen that uh, uh, oil plug underneath. So have you a tool and to go under there and see what uh, size yours is and make sure you have that already selected uh, you need a light some sort of something that'll strap around your head so you can see when you go to lubricating the chassis uh, have a, some tools uh, available just in case you uh, need them for something a screwdriver or what have you you're going to need something that you can uh, like a funnel 
that you can pour the oil in and I have one here that uh, you can fill this up with a quart and then open it up close it and fill up again so you come up with something that will work for you there is a hose that goes into it I don't really need it for this particular one but uh, you could have that uh, and you need a grease gun and I would say make sure you have an extra canister of grease because you don't want to get under there and find out uh, you don't have enough to finish your job so uh, I would always have uh, one available okay so uh, the first thing you'll need to do when you have all your material is to start the engine up and run it for uh, maybe 10 minutes uh, to get the oil uh, a nice warm you, know, you don't want to get it to the full operating temperature because you don't want to scald yourself under there you, you just need to warm the crankcase up a little bit to make it where it will flow good okay this is the oil uh, dipstick that's the transmission red for transmission yellow for oil and here's where we put the engine oil in and they even tell you on uh, the cap usually most every vehicle will have the uh, weight of oil that you uh, that it requires so before you go to drain uh, the system and go under take the oil cap off okay and put this oil cap someplace that you will absolutely know where it is don't hide it in there and, and put it somewhere where you don't see it because uh, you want to make sure this goes back on so I'm going to put mine right over here where I can see it and uh, that's the way I usually do it it's a little shelf there so you find a place that will work for you all right now we're ready to go under we're going to take our tools my oil filter and plug are in the middle of the vehicle right about here i've done this a number of times so locate where yours is and usually if you're not too big you should be able to just slide right under there but make sure the brake is set and locked okay and okay you should be getting a good look at uh, what we got to deal with and I'm getting my tools right here and you can see my headlight really does a great job of uh, throwing light now you're gonna see this right here is my transmission right here so you don't want to uh, uh, be messing with this this is not your uh, crankcase oil uh, filter this is right here okay right there it's bigger uh, but on yours you want to make sure that you are dealing with the crankcase it hangs down and it's more to the front the transmission is going to be in the back okay so first thing we do is we take this 15 millimeter bolt loose and there's a drain plug in the bottom of this uh, bucket and I take it out make sure you do that or you're gonna have oil overflowing now if you'll notice it's at this angle that means if you put it under here it's gonna hit over here off of missing the bucket so you want it like about there okay let me let me make sure i get this thing where you can see it okay now what i'm gonna do is put this on and make sure it's on the uh the point of uh unloosening so get that all figured out and i can do it this way now actually you can get this out of the way because it's not going to start draining until you get it uh, and watch out and don't hit your hand on something there like that 
okay but that's plastic so you don't want to hit it against the metal now once it's loose then you can uh, put this under here and after you do this one time this is about where I need to be right there okay that should make it now I'm gonna put my light on it and I open this up it'd be nice if you had gloves on now hold on to the plug you can drop the plug it's not gonna hurt anything because it's there's a the hold is too small in this bucket to to uh, go down in to the bucket so you look at yours okay once it starts pouring then let her go and you see how far that goes so judge that now I put my plug right here for the time being and I have a rag and what I'll do is clean this plug all off because we got to put it back okay you can uh, get a new seal right here uh, they sell those also and uh, that'll ensure that it uh, seals good I haven't had any problem with this one so uh, I'm okay with it okay now put that right up there and now it's gonna drain for a while so now you just kind of cool your jets a little bit uh, we're gonna next pull the uh, oil filter out it unscrews counterclockwise and generally uh, if you get uh, like these fram uh, it's got a grippy surface around it so it makes it easy to not have to have a tool you can you can grip it good and uh, usually unscrew it uh, they make a tool that you can put over there and a socket wrench uh, and unloosen it if if you get it on too tight you should only put these on hand tight I mean it, as good we'll see that whenever I, I do it okay make sure you move your bucket if you need to because it's going to kind of uh, siphon back a little bit as it as it goes down to a drip all right uh let's see yeah I wanted to make sure it's uh draining okay so uh it's normal for oil to look uh, very dark because there's detergents in the oil that removes all uh, of the contaminants uh, in the engine so uh, it's not gonna look uh, you know like brand new oil when it comes out okay uh, we're gonna let that go and I'll come right back later when it's just dripping a little bit as you can see it's down to holding a drip uh, I could go longer but uh, hey I want to get this done and uh, it's fine you don't have to wait until every drop comes out it'll be just fine all right so what you do is take your plug which is right here have your rag handy and when you stick your plug in it'll stop dripping there for any amount of drips and then kind of clean that off a little bit around there okay there there okay run her on down till it's all away and then find your ratchet and now you're gonna have to set it to tightening and okay and with both hands I can get this tight enough okay again I'm using a wrench it's a, uh, the uh, wrench or actually the ratchet is a little bit smaller than what I really need I need a half inch ratchet and uh, I didn't take the time to get it but uh, I wanted to show the basics of uh, an oil change so you select the proper half inch ratchet and uh, the socket that fits your particular uh, oil plug now 
let's go to the next and you see having one of these little headlights on here is really helpful now move your bucket until it's kind of centered with with the uh, oil filter and again make sure you've got the proper oil filter this is part of the crankcase so that's the way we can tell and then I um, should be able to ah, there you see it's turning don't put this on with a tool hand tight in other words a good firm hand tightening will ensure that it won't leak and uh, you'll be able to get it off okay so don't put a ratchet to it in the tool Okay, and at some point it's going to start spilling over, and when it does, then you want to let it drain. There we go. Make sure it's draining into your bucket. And you can try getting a little more. Be slowly. It's not going to drain the whole thing out because this is going to be full of oil when you take it down. So when you do bring it down, you're going to hold it steady and then tip it over and drain it in okay now you could have a, a rag at this point and now I grab it have you a few rags and these are long threads okay there it came loose see hold it and then spill it over and let it sit there and drain okay it's kind of a messy job so that's why you might want gloves and all of that but have you some nice rags underneath that you can uh make a get a clean up and keep stuff cleaned up if you're on a driveway or something you may want to put a piece of plastic down uh, to keep anything from spilling on your uh, driveway okay now i'm gonna wipe this out a little bit and make sure your rag is not real dirty and everything. I mean, with grit and, and stuff. A clean rag. Use. Okay, you want to clean that down. Okay. Now, it's going to drain a little bit more. Now, I'm going to go and uh, uh, bring the uh, new oil filter in. And uh, you're going to go with me and we're going to see how we prepare that uh, oil filter. Okay, our new oil filter, and uh, it looks about the same size, a different brand and everything. But what you want to do is pour some oil in here and also coat this ring right here. And that gives it some oil that you don't even have to pump up. Okay, now if your oil filter mounts to the side, obviously you can't fill this thing up uh, that you can put some oil in it okay so do that then what you do is take a little bit on your finger and you always use clean oil for this and this makes sure that that gasket will seal good and hand tightening will do the job now I have my uh, my filter ready to go yep and you can see it and the gasket has been uh, conditioned and I just quickly go over here and it has oil in it so that's gonna be good now notice this one didn't have gripping on it but it does have these little flat places that a, a wrench can go over it uh, to take off might be hard to get off but if i don't tighten it too tight i've been able to get this style off also with my hands okay now and i'll use a rag because i may have some i do have oil in there a little bit but i'm gonna tighten it and okay that's all you gotta do and you're gonna check this uh, later to make sure it's not leaking at all it shouldn't be any oil coming down 
uh, if you did notice some, then you need to maybe give it just a little bit more tightening. Okay, I think that's going to be good. The oil plug is in and tight, and the oil filter is now uh, installed and tight. Now, all the way up is sealed. I can pour oil in there. If it was down like that, all the way down counterclockwise, it's going to pour out. So, be ready to go, and don't, don't fill it all the way up to the top. Stop short, because we've got to tilt it just a little bit here. To get it in there so you're going to want to stop right about here okay i've got six quarts uh in i'm going to pour uh, a half a quart more and then i'm going to check the oil level uh, the book says 6.4 for a 8.1 uh, liter engine and i'm going to See if I can't get a half in there or somewhere thereabout. And this is a quart, so they're easy to pour in. Let's get some more. Okay. Alright, that's about uh, six and a half quarts. I'm going to try that. And uh, you don't want to overfill an engine. That's not good. Okay. Now, before you start the engine, uh, you should always put the cap back on. Don't start the engine with the cap off or the uh, dipstick out. Okay, so now everything is the way it's supposed to be. I'm going to go in and uh, crank the engine up just a little bit and uh, get all the oil flowing and uh, see what my dipstick says. Okay, so I'll be right back. Now, with the engine running, you should look underneath and make sure that there's no oil leaking uh, or dripping or anything. So you let it run for a minute, uh, minute or two, and uh, run around and check that. Don't crawl under the vehicle while it's running to check and see if uh, oil is running down the um, oil filter or stuff like that. You wait till you shut the engine off, but first you look to make sure nothing's dripping, and that would be uh, an indication that something's wrong. Okay, now let's pull this out and. Uh, I pull it out and then I wipe it off and it's quite long wipe all the oil off okay and there's some holes in there and the third hole up to this end is full so that's what I'm going to look for and you're going to look for an oil uh, residue on the dipstick to tell you how full it is. And sometimes you have to push it down close to the where it goes in to get it to go. Okay, or it wants to bend. Okay, and make sure you push it all the way in and then pull it out smoothly, grabbing the end so you don't splash it all over the place. Now, second hole, I can put the rest of the oil in there. And that's what I usually do is seven quarts, uh, and it works good. Okay. See how I'm pushing it close to the opening? Yeah, there you go. Because it's got a long way to go. Okay, now I'm going to do it quickly and. I got to come out here to see it. Okay. It's all the way up to the third hole, so I'm good. I'm going to take this off. I don't need it. Make sure it's off. Okay, you uh, saw the oil change. Now, the grease job, I'm not going to go through the grease job right now because uh, I don't think I have the time to crawl under and take you under for that. 
and really the greasing is not that hard in the manual it shows you all of the grease locations uh, that uh, require grease so you simply put the end of the grease gun over the zerk that's what the nipple is called that takes the grease and you squeeze in four or five uh, squirts of uh, grease or until you see some of it coming out someplace okay uh, so uh, I think we're about done here I hope that'll help you uh, investigate all this before you do it and make sure that uh, you read up on your manual and uh, you have everything there that you need ask questions uh, if you're unsure about something before you attempt it and uh, you see it's not really that hard and can save you a lot of time okay all right good luck on your oil change